Thanksgiving for Emily Ann. Story by Teresa Johnson. Emily Ann just had to say she was not very thankful on Thanksgiving Day. Her brother was mean, her sister a bore, and with Grandpa in town, she slept on the floor. There was food to be cooked and chores to be done. With everyone busy, there was no time for fun. So Emily Ann, feeling alone and quite sad, chose not to be thankful and instead be a bit bad. So she snuck into the kitchen past mashed potatoes and pie wiggly cranberry jelly, and the rolls piled high. She ducked by the table to play a funny trick. She reached for the turkey to hide it real quick. But her mom, who was cooking, saw her reach for the plate. Why, that's a big helper, Emily, and you're so great. Her mom kissed her cheek and sent her straight through the door into the dining room with the shiny wood floor. On the big dinner table where the placemats she, were the placemats she made. Turkeys with top hats voted best work in her grade. And there in that moment, Emily Ann saw the truth. Her family had come together, from Uncle Mark to Little Ruth. Cousins Austin and Julie, even Great Grandma was there, cuddling Henry with his soft, curly hair. And she was a piece of it, from her top to her toes. They, they really didn't matter, all her Thanksgiving woes. By the time she sat down on Thanksgiving Day, I'm thankful for family, was all she could say. Happy Thanksgiving.